Hello everybody, and welcome to a game called Devotion. Now this is an indie horror game you can find on Game Jolt. Uh, it is free and it is a demo in the alpha uh, phase. So uh, expect there to be some bugs or other minor issues. Uh, the game looks uh, quite nice, it's made in the Unity engine. Uh, I've had a little run through of it so far and uh, it's, it's not, it, it didn't blow me away, but um, I do like some of the graphical elements here. Uh, Considering it is made in Unity, it doesn't look that bad at all. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump into this game. Okay, so here we are. Salvation this way. Jolly good. Ha, <laughs> already knew it. So we have some very cultish symbolism going on here. Uh, very reminiscent of the Freemasonry uh, symbol. So, Hotel Marshall. Oh, hello. Hello there. Hey, what's up? What's up, bro? Nope. Jeff. Busy. Busy, busy, busy. I'm glad you called. I received a letter today from my dad. That's impossible. He's been gone for five years. Missing uh -oh. isn't the same as dead. It's mm. You're gonna have to let go sooner or later. The letter asked me to head to the old hotel of the family in the woods. You're not considering going there, right? I'm already here. You're gonna walk into a trap. You made enemies with the wrong people. I know. I've never been so scared, but it might actually be my dad. <laughs> I have to go there and find out. No, you don't. You're clinging to a ghost. Yeah. I won't let you walk in there. I'm heading your way now. Good, mate. Because the protagonist didn't is... Show as much care when I gave him the chance. <laughs> I have to get there. Yeah, so I mean, look, uh, the game does look quite nice. I like the uh, post-processing effects. Uh, locked. I need to find another way in. Typical. Uh, I like the walk up towards this hotel. Um, the way that it bears down upon you and has a cross um, right up on the wall. Um, thus kind of uh, enhancing the idea of the cult. So, it seems this family is owned... Uh, I'm sorry, this hotel is owned by a family in the woods. Um, so that reminds me of Resident Evil 7 already. I just wish I could go back to a happier time. Something is blocking the door. Left click and drag to move the boards. Good. I like that kind of interaction. Nice one. Nice one. Can I get over that? Yeah. Yeah, so I, I watched a film last night called VHS 2. Um... It's more of a collection of short horror stories um, than a full feature length film. Um, I thought it was really good, really enjoyed it. Uh, it's all found footage um, and one of the short stories is all about a cult um, and has a similar storyline to, well, it has similar themes to this game. So we have a map now. Good, good stuff. Dad? Hello, Dad. Dad. Papa? It won't budge. It won't budge. So, being a hotel, there are obviously going to be a lot of doors. Perhaps a lot of keys necessary to open said doors. So I don't believe this demo is very long, um, it is just being greenlit at the moment, uh, so I will be doing a full playthrough of it. Okay, so more religious and cultish symbolism and iconography. Jonathan Capiro, 
20, uh, Las Vegas Weekly Report 1, 12th to 10th, 2012. I am reborn. While wandering aimlessly through life, looking for some meaning, Mr. Hawksworth has come to me and given me a reason to believe better days are to come. He brought me to this place. It was, a ho- it was once a hotel, but now it houses my hopes for a better future. He gave us these sheets so we can write our thoughts each week. He didn't tell us why, but he doesn't have to. He claims that as long as we follow his steps and never leave the safety of his church, we will ascend to paradise once our earthly stories come to an end. I chose to follow him and enter this church. Grand. Sound check. Yeah, so I'm an idiot. I completely forgot to move my face back onto the other side of the screen. Uh, So apologies for that. I moved it so I wouldn't be in the way of the title uh, in the menu screen. Uh, Anyway, let's carry on. So I like the level of interaction. It's always good to see. Is there nothing else in here? No. What in here? Nope. Oh, a key. A hall key acquired. Okay, I happen to know where the hall is, so that's good. Hmm. I don't know if there's a limit to the sprint. But there is a sprint, by the way, if I hadn't mentioned that. Uh, there's sprinting and crouching. Which is good. I like having that kind of mobility. Oh, cool. God, I don't like it in here. It's very dark and there are things under sheets. I don't like things under sheets. Dad, is that you? No, it's just a blanket. <laughs> okay. A grandfather clock. It's ticking, but the time is stuck at 3.02. Hmm. Interesting, I'm going to write that down. 302. Might be relevant to a puzzle or something of that ilk. Uh, oh, can't get past that chair. It's just impossible. There's no possible way I could move it. So I don't like how the furniture is laid out in a pattern that is leading to me, uh, leading me towards something. Uh, makes me think there's going to be a jump scare. Welcome back. Oh, God. God, look at the font on that. Jesus. Just uh, write it out yourself. Oh, God. Hello? Father. What? Isn't that why you're here? Yes. My father, not a father. How do you know that? I know everything about you, Amanda. Everything. Okay, so I'd leave the hotel at this point, but uh, she's that fucking stupid. Uh, that she still thinks there is some kind of hope for a father, even though the letters clearly show that Mr. Hawksworth is the leader of a cult. But no, I'm sure everything will pan out lovely for me. Okay. It won't budge. It won't budge. What have we got? Stairs? Nope. Don't need no stairs. Not me, not know how. So I like the animation on the curtains by the windows. I like that. Looks nice. Oh, fuck you. Don't trust him. Okay, layers of fear. I see that there are many paintings that fell and had writing on the back of them. Hmm, seems a little bit too similar to layers of fear. And I really don't like the use of the font. Uh, it looks, it looks horrible. Uh, I hate it when. They do that in indie horror games where, like, blood written on the wall will be in, like, like comic sounds or something ridiculous. Just just write it out yourself. It looks a lot better. I don't really know where I'm going, to be honest. What the fuck? Yeah, so there's a lot of, um... Imagery... Depicting uh, religious scenes. Lots of Bibles. I like um, the interaction. That's nice to see. Got another note. Paulo Maia, 40, uh, Rio de Janeiro. Brazil, Weekly Report 1, 12th to 10th, 2012. When I first came to this country, I believed the better life awaited me, but reality has betrayed me until one day a man came to me and fed me what I most desperately sought, hope. 
Mr. Hawksworth wants to lead us to paradise. I will take his hand and trust him with my afterlife. I am certain that this church will offer me the salvation I seek. All of the other brothers seem as thrilled as I am. I can feel the warmth of the Creator's touch already. Uh, and I know something little about that I isn't capital. It's not hard to read over things. Um, so it's interesting that everything's being done on the 12th of the 10th, 2012. I'm wondering if this has any relevance to the Mayan calendar's date, the 12th of the 12th, 2012. Uh, could be. So, this is clearly a cult. I don't think I'm going to be finding my dead father here. I would turn back and leave at this point. But no! No, 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 no. Far too intelligent for that. We're going to plunge ourselves into some horrific nightmare. Ooh, toilet. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. I was only recently playing Detention, which had a really creepy toilet scene. I don't think it's going to... There's not even anything in here. Rubbish. All horror games need to have spooky toilets. Fact. Deal with it. <laughs> okay. Hmm. What have we got here? Some kind of shrine? The song. I remember it. She is coming for us. Okay, that looks a little bit better than the uh, last bit of writing I found in blood. Oh, hello, gramophone. Again, another element from Layers of Fear. Okay. I like the crosses. Uh, it looks good. Surreal, but it, it, yeah, a lot of indie horror games are going in quite a surreal direction these days, which I like. I do like it, but um, only if it's done well. And I think the... Uh, it's had the glistening bits of dust, whatever it is. Uh, it's just a bit over the top. There's just too much of it. It looks like it's snowing or something. Okay, you can shut the fuck up. Great, glad I came in this room. See you later. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, fuck you. Oh, why are you red now? Red is the color of evil. Oh my God, is anyone here? No, just the gramophone. Shut up. Oh fuck. Oh, I don't, I don't want to be here anymore. Let me out, please. Please, please, please. Oh, of course it won't. Fucking budge. Oh. Oh, a key. Oh, thank you, Mr. Gramophone. I massively appreciate that. I don't appreciate being deafened though. Ow, or being hit in the face with a door. Why can't I move? Why can't I move? Why can't I move? Jeff, I'm in the hotel. There's something wrong. <laughs> yeah. They, they aren't here, but I saw a man. He said he knows everything about me. I told you not to go back to this place. Why won't you ever listen to me? It's fucking stupid that way. The letter. It gave me hope. I don't I'm not so. leaving. What? Whoever sent that letter knows about my dad. I will get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Come on, man. If Give you up. Want my help, why did you call me? Exactly. You're the only one I have left in my life, and there's something wrong going on. Please yeah, don't so leave. Here. Don't put yourself in harm's way. Nonsense. Jesus. I'll get there and get you out, whether you like it or not. I have my gun with me if things go south. The protagonist is a fucking moron. I mean, uh, horror game protagonists often are morons and would do things that no normal humans would do. Um, but this is just a whole nother level of stupid. It's, there's, this is clearly a cult. There's there's no... Did, why would your dad be here for fuck's sake? Are you serious? Okay, so with the toilets on the left, I need to go forwards and left. Cool. Fuck off! What the fuck is that? Whoa, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, shit. Fuck, shit. I didn't know there were gonna be no monsters. What was that thing? It was a fucking monster, man. Okay. 
Hello. Hi, TV. Oh, no. <laughs> no one watched the TV in this room. They all just watched Cross Channel. Okay. 84925. 84925. Sound. Thanks for the advice. Don't think there's any point opening any of these. I was right. Okay. Just go down here. No. Wait. So yeah. So. Yeah, so, 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 okay, yes, yeah, so this way. So I need to get to the storage room. Ooh, time is stuck at 9.30. Hmm. I don't know if the importance of the time is going to be relevant in this demo. Ooh, that looked very spooky. Ooh, I don't want to look down there for much longer. Um, so, yeah, I know this game is a bit out of the blue um but i feel i haven't been doing many videos um i don't know i i, I haven't been branching out and looking into any unique and interesting games but well i mean i i have i i have but i mean i'm i haven't been doing many of the smaller games i've been doing mainly bigger games at the moment so um this is me doing a smaller game Can't say I'm glad I decided to play a smaller game. No, I, I love small indie horror games, um, and I mean this is just a demo and it is free, uh, so I shouldn't be too judgmental. But so far the storyline doesn't make much sense. It's not very believable. The characters aren't very relatable. Uh, there isn't really an atmosphere. Um, the repetition of each room and each stock asset is slowly wearing away at my soul <laughs> to, to put it in a really really horrible way okay eight four nine two five go whoa that was loud thanks for making my ears bleed hello so many boxes so many fire extinguishers. So many coat wrecks. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Oh. And almost all things are by the law purged with blood, and without shedding of blood is no remission. I will take that. Thanks for the crowbar, Mr. Blood. Blood. Okay. So I remember seeing uh fuck you man. Hey now. Hey now now now. Fuck off. <laughs> I think I'll be safe in here. Jesus Christ, you're not very good at playing the fucking piano, man. Jeez! I actually quite like um, the design of this monster. The animation, though, really makes him look very, very unthreatening. I don't know if unthreatening is a word, but it is now. Okay, so we'll wait for him and his shitey piano skills to get the fuck out of here. Okay, let's go. Dun 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 dun. Fuck, he's coming back. Okay, cool. Go go go. What is he like? Fucking made of musical notes. It won't budge. Ah. Okay. Don't hurt me, please. Okay. I think we're okay. I think we made it out alive, guys. Oh no. The blood. 
The blood! It wasn't here before, but now it is. It won't budge. It won't budge. Hmm. Where to go? Where to go? Aha! That doesn't make any sense. There's nothing to pry the wood against. That's... Uh. Couldn't they just done the animation to the left at the door where the uh, frame of the door was? That would have made more sense. Fucking hell. Hello? Oh, not more blood. Hmm. Fuck. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. Well, fuck me. Oh, God. Hello? Hello, Jeff. Hello. Who are you? How did you get my number? I didn't. I had your Oh. Phone. I read all of your texts. Oh, thanks. You and Jeff have quite a story, I must say. Cheers. Leave Jeff out of this. What do you know about my dad? My dear, given the circumstances, I think you should be more concerned about what happened to your mother. What? What? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah. I... <laughs> yeah. I quite like that ending. That was good. I like the way that ended very much. Very good. Okay, so not much of a storyline. Not a very believable storyline. Not very relatable characters. The game didn't look incredible, but it looked pretty good for a Unity horror game. It is just a demo. It is free, and I will put a link in the description. Um, so if you've enjoyed watching, please leave a like and subscribe to help support me and my channel. Thank you very much, guys.